Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroRoots.com. Back here with another great ROM review for Galaxy S3 called Rootbox ROM. Uh, for your T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and i9-300 International Galaxy S3. So you can get almost every, all of them except for Sprint Galaxy S3. It'll work. So it's big, big bonus. Very compatible with a lot of devices. Uh, links down below if you want to check out this ROM. I'll tell you right now in the beginning of the video because you guys usually ask, uh, where's the ROM or whatever, you know? So down below. <laughs> So right away, uh, when you do unlock your device, you'll get a nice, uh, you know, root box. I added that wallpaper. You can get it um, just by uh, going on the server from this phone. Um, but you, you can add shortcuts. So I added Chrome, which was my web browser, my daily web browser, and Camera 4.2. But you have the option to add another one uh, that to turn off. But you have an unlock right there, and you have another shortcut right there if you want to add that. So, which is a really nice feature. Uh, you can get a lot more shortcuts, a lot faster, and it, was, it does remind me of the st uh, stock TouchWiz Galaxy S3 uh, shortcuts at the bottom uh, that you may have noticed when you first got your Galaxy S3. Uh, you are running on 4.2.1, so let's go ahead and jump into settings and about phone, and you're on 4.2.1, which is great. Almost the latest, wasn't almost, you know, a little bit off, but uh, no, no performance issues, nothing like that. You're going to get a great phone, very speedy. Ah, speedy. <laughs> Um, but um, right now I want to show you, you have RAM control, themes, performance control, which is, I love performance control, and device options, and then with your root box features, which is why I really want to show this ROM is, first you have your AOKP features, right, you have your RAM control, and here is all your AOKP, as you can see right there, it is AOKP, uh, let's just go into general UI, which I usually go, and then we'll go at the bottom, you got 180, de uh, 180 degree rotation, so you can rotate it all the way around, which is really nice, and I find it very useful for the Nexus 4. <laughs> and, alright, when I do have my Nexus 4, uh, enable kill all, I love that for multi uh, multitasking, so you just have a kill all right there, you just swipe them all the way, which is really nice, love that. Uh, you can check out your recent RAM which is really nice. I love that too. Those are like my top three favorite features probably uh, for AOKP. Um, so you have a lot of other AOKP features that I've probably shown you in a lot of the videos, especially for the Galaxy Nexus. I believe I did a video on that. If you want to check out more in-depth of AOKP, go ahead and check out the Galaxy Nexus. You can get the same features and same performance for the AOKP part. But in this video, we're going to be talking more about the root box and more of that features. And one of my favorite features is the Pi Control. Yes, this does come with Pi Control which is so sweet, so let's go ahead and rotate that, and you can see it does have pie control, which is really, really nice. I love it. <laughs> um, um, very, very useful. Uh, one thing I will say, it's not practical for a Galaxy S3. Now, if you have a pie control on your Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, a pure Android device that has um, software navigation keys, that's going to be very useful. But for a Galaxy S3, you already have your home button, that which is physical, your options, and your, uh, I believe, back button too, right there. So it's not very practical for that, uh, for Galaxy S3. It's still very fun to use, and you show off your friends, you know? <laughs> you get to show it off, so which is very, very nice. So you have all that, and I love it. I set it to the um, right side. You can set it to the bottom left, and I believe top two, if you want to. So let's actually go into uh, root box settings, which we'll be doing a lot of part of this video. There's going to be a lot of talking on this part. So, pie control, like I said earlier, you got pie con color settings, so you can actually change the color for each uh, thing. So, clock color and all that. I actually left it alone, I didn't mess with it, I was like, you know what? Because <laughs> you guys usually want to see the default, you know, settings. Um, I'm, I'm assuming so. <laughs> uh, but you got pie controls if you want to enable it or disable it. Um, let's actually select the location. So, right now it's on the right, but you have bottom, top, and left. So, it does have top, like I mentioned earlier, which I wasn't that sh too sure of. Uh, you got the size, which I did large, not gigantic, but large, so it's much easier to access. Does it work even here? Yes, it does. It's in the background. You probably can't see that. Uh, but let's go ahead and cancel that. But you got options right here, as you can see, which is really... Yeah, so those pie controls are very useful, you know, if you want to navigate very quickly, um, if you do prefer that. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, actually, did there you go. So you have search, um, multitasking, home, and back. So all of them are very useful. So you got all that right there. Very fun to use, and if you don't like moving your fingers up and down, you know, it's very uh, easy access to uh, go to your home button, navigation, all that. Well, actually moving your fingers back and forth, especially if you have small hands, so that's a very nice, useful feature. Uh, but more practical on a pure Nexus device uh, by Google and um, software navigation keys. Let's actually go back into Rootbox and see a couple other um, features. So let's, let's deny that Rootbox settings right here. And you have expand desktop, which is really nice. So adds. So if we hold on the power button and we choose expand desktop, 
it'll actually do it full screen so you remove your status bar and your bottom is still the same so your screen your whole overall screen does become a lot bigger and it's a lot easier to navigate through you know if you're uh, navigating on Chrome or anything like that much much easier to navigate you know you can read more per you know per screen you know you don't have to scroll as much and if you, it makes your phone feel much much bigger which is always a big bonus right <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, get it back, and you still have your status bar right there, very easily to do, uh, which is really, really nice. So let's go back in settings and look at like maybe one or two more things uh, before we do end this video. Uh, you have hold back to kill all if you want to do that. Um, I actually enabled this uh, CRT screen on. So right now, if you turn it off, you get that um, animation, it goes whoop, like a uh, tube TV, you know. And if you go ahead and turn it on, I actually enabled that. So you have it like that. Uh, it's very, very quick, and you don't actually really see it but let's go and try it one more time so there you saw you saw a line and then it opened up so it's a nice feature if you like that I know a lot of people like that animation they always ask me how do you get an animation um, so that's how you actually get it uh, for this specific ROM uh, lock screen targets this is where I uh, in, um, edited those uh, chrome camera any of options to do the middle one and the bottom or the middle left one bottom middle left one too so which is really nice uh, you got screen security, you know, your uh, lock screen code and all that. You got your clock, headsets, uh, hardware keys, which we really, uh, you can use actually. Um, so you can enable custom actions, uh, which I wouldn't recommend. You might get confused <laughs> if you really want to. Um, but that's about it, guys. A lot of good features. One big feature is probably pack control. And the AOKP is with this um, root box settings, which is really nice. And I love AOKP, one of my favorite ROMs. And on top of that, they add the root box settings, which is even better. You know, it's even more um, more settings, more uh, customization features, which I really do love. But that's a ROM review of root box uh, for your Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon and i9 i9 300 international version. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this uh, RAM review, please don't forget to hit the like button in the bottom left hand corner and please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel uh, located uh, right by the like button as well as that does really help me out a lot and you can be notified when I do upload more Galaxy S3 RAM reviews, tips, hacks, um, app reviews, you know, um, just, you know, just about anything and related on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Uh, RAM down below and um, a little bit more detail down below too. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links, everything that you need is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.